This retreat center that we are presently at right now is been in existence for, geez, 63 years or so. Started by Franciscans and then later on the Diocese of Fresno picked up the baton and, and hosted a beautiful and wonderful environment for people to come as individuals or as groups to spend some time, um, whether it's in a spiritual way in religious communities or whether it would be for meetings or organizational mm -hmm. gatherings. Um, there's much flexibility in our facilities here and being an ecumenical resource that means that everybody's welcome right and uh, we've had over the years many people from different backgrounds and walks of life and faiths who've come and joined us here and so we're really happy to be able to offer this as a service to our larger community but also to our local community three rivers meets here for a variety of different things as well now we have the youth center which really caters to the younger people, which is just a marvelous facility. And I mean, you had such a large hand in the whole design of that, uh, respect, respecting the environment. And, you know, I enjoy working up there tremendously. And I think one of the more powerful experiences I have for the youth retreats is the Sacrament of Reconciliation. You know, it's just so beautiful to have the kids and take the time. And sometimes we spend four or five hours together. And it's a lot of time for reconciliation for a kid. And, um, I had a young person come up uh, from the valley the other day for confession just because she remembered, you know, what she had experienced here and felt comfortable. And, uh, you know, I find quite a few people come to the youth center or to St. Anthony's for that opportunity for reconciliation. But for private retreats and you just get away and we have people come up, you just walk on the grounds on a weekend or a holiday. It's wonderful to see people. I hope uh, those who are able to tune in with us and participate in the Festival of Trees will find some worthy uh, group to dedicate their funds and their charity and their kindness to knowing that it goes directly to that nonprofit and to the promotion of their ministry and service. Right, so we have the one tree and a few auction items right. for the benefit of St. Anthony. So look forward to the Festival of Trees and whatever uh, contacts we can have and make friends through the Festival of Trees and raise a few uh, dollars. So thank you very much. My family and I have been farming here in uh, the Lemon Cove area for uh, four generations now. I'm Greg Kirkpatrick, I'm the owner of the Main Squeeze Market. When we opened the market three years ago, we just really wanted to express our love for farming and agriculture and the area itself, the history uh, of the park where we've been spending all of our lives and share it with other people. And that's really been a, the, one of the funnest experiences here at, uh, at the market is meeting the tourists and sharing stories. Hey! To all of our veterans that are keeping America safe while we are out here doing what it is we are enjoying doing, uh, and our freedom. Our freedom isn't free. Freedom comes with a price. And we chose to partner up with a nonprofit organization called the Independence Fund. The uh, Independence Fund started in 2007 and it is committed to empowering our nation's catastrophically wounded injured and ill veterans to overcome physical, mental, and emotional wounds incurred in the line of duty. Wounded veterans who use our all-terrain wheelchair regain the ability to do the things that they love. In December of 2018, uh, we did present to a very worthy and deserving veteran uh, that track wheelchair, and that presentation was made at the Visaya Fox Theater in Visaya. After, I think it was 53 or 54 major surgeries, um, 
he did lose one leg. It's all about being thankful for the freedom that we have in this country and it's solely because of the sacrifices made by all the men and women in, in, in the various branches of the armed forces of the United States. We're doing this because I have two arms, two legs, and um, my heart is with the wounded veterans. <laughs> We live in the land of the free because of the brave. So it's our way of saying thank you. So that's what it's all about, uh, trying to uh, get the youth riders here at the Wooden Horse more involved with charity. And uh, veterans have always been near and dear to Christie's heart. I've served, my father served, Christie's dad served, his, uh, her brother served. All the men in both sides of our family have served in various branches of the military. And we felt what a better way to instill some patriotism uh, in a youth riders here at the Wooden Horse than to get them involved in something such as this Independence Fund.